Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am Abe with mysticgenmara.com, a small town mystic from the middle of Idaho. And tonight, and let me adjust something real quick, uh, is our mid-month romance and relationship readings for the elements. So, um, <laughs> as we go through, I will be changing a symbol right in this little section here. And it will be earth, air, fire, and water. We'll start with the singles, then we'll move into the couples. And I am going to be using the fairy tarot for the tarot messages. And to start things off as we go for each group, we'll pull a chakra energy card to see where the primary focus is within the seven chakra system. So we'll get started here with fire and for fire we have Aries Leo and Sagittarius so we'll start with fire singles so if you're um, Aries Leo or Sagittarius this is for you and if you are single it's definitely in your wheelhouse today we have number 49 compassion and I will read give you my impressions and then we'll read from the book so with compassion, I'm feeling this very, for uh, fire singles, it's really about staying calm, staying grounded, but you're sharing yourself with others. And when you're showing compassion, you are showing caring to other people with basically no an, uh, expectation, there's the word, of getting anything in return. So you're showing compassion, you're showing kindness, you're going, showing gentility. This is about that universal agape style love. So this is that love for everyone. And when you're doing that, you're showing the light of the creator. And that's sharing yourself, but you're also sharing that divine light as well. So let's see what the book has to say. This is the crown chakra energy, seventh chakra, and it's... Tipura Sundari is the deity here, and it's the goddess embodying the beauty of inspiration and the ascension to the seventh chakra. Through her, you recognize everything as divine, including the divine qualities within yourself. So this particular reading for Fire Singles is saying it's not just the other person. This is as much about you as it is everyone else, and it's... Uh, the key words are innocence, childlike wonder, compassion, obviously, love beyond attachment, magic in the moment, expanding your capacity to give, and the radiant heart and nurturing others. This is not a time for fire singles to be focused on selfish drives and needs. This is a time to share and to try to understand the other person, the other people around you. And what I'm hearing is this isn't going to be something as easy as, oh, well, if I'm just being, you know, showing a little bit of care, everything will be all right. They're actually saying that this is a time for that universal compassion. It's that understanding that people are always in a different place in their life and there's always something a little bit different. And seeing that and being able to look at both sides of a situation is going to benefit you. Um, we'll pull a couple of tarot cards and see what else comes up but they're also I'm not hearing anything too strong about a relationship coming in right yet but we'll see what happens the five of summer trust that there is a reason for everything that happens remove yourself from negative emotions focusing on that which frightens or worries you so what this is really calling you out to do or saying for you to do or however you want to take that uh, with that compassion you're stepping away from the drama you're stepping away from all of the chaos you'd rather show compassion from a distance than be kind of in the middle of everything that's not a good place this for this particular period of time for you your other card is the ace of autumn a windfall of money advice or assistance from others a successful project and a happy change in your career this is that sharing part you've got some new stuff coming in they're not saying so much relationship aspect which is kind of interesting with this one but it's you're 
you're sharing your gifts and your talents. There's a new opportunity to share, and that could lead, if you're looking or open to a change in relationship status, this is where that could come in, but it's not a it's not your primary focus right now. Your energy in the moment is more about stepping into creation and moving forward in a compassion state towards a goal, dream, or ambition. Uh, and they're saying that there's some new ideas that are coming up for that. So let's see what fire couples. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm not sure what my problem is tonight. <laughs> And I, this happens randomly, so I can't pick exactly what the time frame is that would trigger it. So for fire couples, we have number three, creation. So this is where <laughs> fire, you're, all, you're as an energy are all over the place right now because the singles were up in their crown, but the couples are down in their root. Uh, with that, the creation card is giving this energy of foundational principles but it's also talking about being able to see things from multiple sides so for fire what I'm getting before I look it up is this is really a good time for you to look at all the options it's not just about one one option for you you have a lot of variety there's a lot of shifting that's going on right now but it's all foundational so this is about everyday principles survival um, and strength of the relationship. Mm, excuse me. <laughs> the deity on the card is Brahma. The four heads reflect Brahma's position as Lord of Creation. They represent the physical self, the rational self, the emotional self, and the intuitive self. In each of his four hands, Brahma carries a blessing, his hand mudra removes fears and insecurities from his pot sacred water pours forth the lotus emits the scent of purity and his scrolls recount divine wisdom sorry this book and the <laughs> there's parts of this book i can flip with one finger but not all of it uh birthing possibilities innovative original thinking the pioneering spirit novel opportunities and taking first steps the consistent thing that i'm seeing with fire even though you're singles are way up here <laughs> and the, the couples are definitely in their root is there's new stuff coming up for you this is not a time of stagnation this is a time of projects that are or things that you've been working on relationship uh, patterns that you've been maybe processing through those are done now it's time to move forward and this is a prosperous time the, the uh, chakra energy that's coming forward for both of your guys uh, and gals is saying that it's a very positive time of movement and it's new possibilities and new creations in this particular deck 49 is the last card in the series so for fire singles you're kind of at the end of this stretch of your relationship status whether you're starting over next month <laughs> with something new coming in or if it's just something you know cycling but for couples this is this is about moving forward because you're starting from a foundational perspective and moving up so our fire couples what does the tarot have to say for fire couples okay I have put this card back and pulled it out four times now so fire couples you also have the five of summer uh, trust that there's a reason for everything that happens remove yourself from negative emotions and focus on the things that are worrying you and when you I say focus on it's not saying oh I must put all of my effort into this thing that is a problem it's what's not working how do you fix it this isn't set up the way I would like it to be how can I make this better so and these are foundational principles so this could go back to how you spend and save within the relationship where are you spending your time are you splitting so putting so much time into the job that you're not paying attention as much as you should to your partner this is really about bringing your awareness back into the now moment some of that stuff can be put on the back burner and it can just simmer over there for now because there are more important things that are coming up at this time 
You also have the Empress, number three in the Major Arcana, so this is a big life movement or lesson. Taking time to take action, the power of creativity, success that allows for life of luxury. You're putting too much effort into things outside of the relationship. The Empress is saying, dude, <laughs> or dudette, <laughs> focus back into the relationship. This is where your power lies. The foundational principles of growing as a couple are coming back into this now moment, back into the relationship, reconnecting with your partner. It's getting to be spring here in the northern areas, <laughs> so take some time going to picnic. Take a day where it's just you. If you've got kids, grandma and grandpa's house. <laughs> and then take the time to reinvest in you and your partner as a couple. Don't worry so much about the things outside of the relationship. Because if your foundation is strong, that's what the three of creation is saying. If the foundation is strong within the relationship, all of that outside of the relationship, that will get sorted because you have a strong foundation from which to pull. If your foundation is not there, and the strength of that foundation is not stable, then things can get interesting, to say the least. So now we will hop over to our Earth family. And Earth covers Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. So if you are Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, this is for you or if you have Earth high up in your charts. And I, I will put in the description of this video a link to a uh, reputable astrology chart. Um, it's a company that I've used for years, and I use um, this chart. I've actually had my chart done years ago. And just being, <laughs> being me, I checked it later and got a second one done with the exact same information, and it was actually almost identical so these guys are pretty good with not you know changing it up so they have a pretty good grab grip grasp on <laughs> what they're offering so i'll put that in the description and in those particular charts it's called the merlin used to be called the merlin report they actually discuss the elemental alignments of your birth chart and that it has been exceptionally helpful when you're trying to figure out what is my elements, where am I, where do I stand, which one's the dominant one, which one's the one I could probably use some support in. And like uh, for me personally, I won't get into all that, but for me personally, I have zero fire in my chart, nothing. <laughs> so I really have to be focusing on that when I'm doing um, elemental balancing because I have no fire. There's like, I mean, I have passion for life, but not this, it's <laughs> not the elemental aspect. Anyway, we're not talking about me. We're talking about earth singles, earth singles. Your chakra energy is detachment number 39. And I'm going to guess and say this is throat, but we'll find out here in a second. And with detachment, um, earth singles, you're, you're clinging to a past situation is what they're showing me. This is something from the past that needs to be let go. Detachment is a beautiful uh, emotional state to be in because the past doesn't matter. The future is not there yet. When you're in full, and I'm not talking unhealthy detachment of, I'm going to ignore everything because it doesn't matter. That's not detachment. Detachment in this sense is I am not connected emotionally to an outcome. I am making plans, I am going forward, I'm living in the now moment, but my emotions are here. They're in this time right now. They're not 10 years in the future, they're not 10 years in the past, because when you start doing that, you start dragging things in. <laughs> You're in the now moment, and that allows you peace and freedom to think and actually experience life for what it is. And life can be amazing and beautiful when we're not connected connecting ourselves to all these outside energies so for earth singles i was wrong it's the sixth chakra so it's this little guy right here very powerful chakra <laughs> it is the deity on here get the lined up there is shiva and shiva in his incarnation as rudra shiva is linked with destruction and death which is a past shiva 
out of which the new forms can be born in the cycle of creation and preservation. Here we see the young Shiva, so this is the after effect. Lord of the yogis, sitting in meditation in the middle of the river high in the mountains, has express, excuse me, he expresses ultimate detachment from the cascading waterfall of sensory attachment and demonstrates our capacity to learn to detach or let go of our desires, hopes, fears of various and assorted kinds. Well, when you're not connecting to the past with anxiety or with depression and the future with worry and anxiety, you're able to actually live life. And that's the important part. You always have something you can be concerned about, worried about, feeling in the moment. It could be a headache, a backache. It could be, you know, that stressful paperwork that you have to deal with. Why? You're not, if you're not at work, deal with that when you're at work. And that's that detachment is being able to separate from the emotional uh, aspect of it. Your key words are non-attachment, accepting life in the now, uh, not being attached to the outcome of actions, performing austerities, which is kind of a prayer, enjoying situations without expectation. So earth singles. <laughs> Let it go. If you need to listen to that song <laughs> from a movie a couple of years ago, do that. But learn to understand or try to understand that there's things in this world you can't control. But if you try to put attachment to them, it's just not going to be fun. And that's going to slow you down on your spiritual journey. Your intuition is going to be pretty high in this in this in this current time frame. So just listen to your intuition and pay attention to the messages that are coming through. Your tarot is the four of winter. Set aside your concerns for now. <laughs> uh, you can make a decision later. Solutions that come from meditation, the need for sleep or vacation. When we are in a state of peace, sleep is great because it detaches you emotionally from the world. Unless you're dragging your dreams, your um, energy into your dreams. But vacations, when you go on vacation, what are you doing? You're separating yourself. You're detaching from the everyday life. The Four of Winter is actually encouraging you to find that time to hibernate, let go, reconnect with who you are at your core, because that's who you are in reality anyway. Your second card is the number 21, Major Arcana, big life energy here, and it's the world, a brilliant success, the freedom to go in any direction, a journey that is now complete. When we learn detachment, Earth, and when you separate yourself from all those emotional attachments to the everyday struggles basically it allows you to feel a sense of freedom that not many people do <laughs> because we've all been conditioned in the world we live in to be attached oh you have what, what what job do you have that's the most important thing it's it's really not it's how you pay the bills um but you don't hear people asking what kind of art do you do what kind of music do you play? What are you interested in? What books are you reading? That's not something we talk about very often, especially as you get older, because work is the most important thing, so we have this attachment to it. But when you separate the attachment, it allows you freedom to be able to be like, job's good, that one pays better, I can bounce over there if I need to, or you know what, that one might pay better, but there's a lot of stress involved. When you're detached from that and emotionally, it allows you freedom. And when you are attached to a past relationship, they're, they're kind of emphasizing this one too, is you're not going to be able to move forward towards something else. So understand there were lessons in those past relationships, those past connections that may have been beneficial for you in that time, but are they still beneficial? Are they still giving you guidance? Are they still helping you move forward? If the answer to any of those is no, then learn to let it go. Emotionally, you're no longer there, so there's no reason to have that connection to it. And that doesn't mean you hate the person. That doesn't mean you're going to forget them. It just means that emotionally you are separating, and it's time for you to move forward into something different. And the universe could have a lot of fun things planned for you in the future. So our Earth couples, we have number 20 with transformation, and this card has got a lot going on in it, including... Looks like something's being eaten. I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> but you have a lot of energy in this card. And with 
number 20 we have transformation so earth couples there's some t there's a period of transitioning and transforming here which means there are some powerful changes being played out and that could be a lot of different things so let's go see what the book has to say um, and when we talk about transformation it can be very beneficial but it also can be a little bit of a struggle <laughs> because things when they change growth is not easy so this could also mean that there could be a little bit of a challenge coming up for earth couples we're in our third chakra which would be your uh, solar plexus so this is very much about your power and the deity on this card is tripura baravi and this is associated with terror as well as protection this fiery goddess is an aspect of the divine mother who juggles the power of creation and destruction oh so she's a distant cousin of kali apparently <laughs> and looking at her fierceness can make the spirit of courage shake her battles are mostly directed towards burning away obstacles that slow the progress of her children's journey towards self-realization such as delusion doubt slothfulness etc so this is really about clearing out the things that are no longer working which is still transformative but it's not always easy uh, your keywords are facing challenges removing obstacles creating positive changes finding new skills or opportunities I do find it interesting so far everyone has this direction towards new things in the works uh, but for earth couples this is really a good time to what's not working for you like what is it that needs to be kind of thinned down reined in shrugged off it could be um, <laughs> too much time apart it could be too much socializing they're also saying this could be something to do with um, maybe some reevaluation of some and they're giving me the word addiction so I'm not sure how you want to take that <laughs> because addiction can be TV it could be video games it could be a whole list of different things but this is a time to maybe reevaluate where some of that stuff lies because this time period is a time to, for growth but the next level of your couple's growth, there's got to be some things that are going to have to be rearranged a little bit. And that's what they're saying is there's some things that need to be let go of. And when you work with some of these powerful feminine de deities, it can be a little intense sometimes. But they're saying you've got the strength to do this as a couple. The two of you together are very powerful. You're ready for this. It's just this is kind of the reinforcement that this is where we're headed as a couple so your tarot is the queen of summer loving comforting emotional and intuitive listening to your heart intuitive insights you can trust taking care of others perhaps too much if you are feeling altruistic and you always want to do stuff for other people to the point where and this could be what is affecting the relationship is you're always going oh someone called I have to go help the situation is everything okay with the relationship are you spending so much time because you are needed that you are kind of forgetting that you're needed at home too <laughs> and this is the queen of summer she's like it's great to do all those things these are amazing things to be doing but don't forget you have to take care of you but you're in a relationship so there's you is two <laughs> so you need to make sure you're connecting in with your partner as you're going through all of this you also have the world coming forward so when we are connected to our real our partner is what this is saying this is where things really get freed up you can still do those charitable events you can still do that going to help other people is there a way that you and your partner can do it together though because when you're connecting with each other that brilliant success that freedom to go where you want in a journey journeys that can be complete is you doing it all by yourself you could be starting a new journey where your partner is actually going on this journey with you as you do some of these events as you do some of these um, very positive very good things but is it that burning away part of clearing out the, well I have to do it by myself because they just don't aren't interested are you sure have you asked them so 
that's kind of where that one's going is kind of reconnecting with your partner so let's take a look at our air family air covers Gemini Libra and Aquarius so air singles we're gonna get started with you guys and you have radiance oh I thought this pick person had a, uh, uh, spiked ears radiance you are kind of shining right now air singles the stars are aligned you you have like this spotlight energy on you and when you look at this card you have the surrounding energy there's a lot of things moving in your favor there's a lot of energy coming forward to support you but you kind of have this little shine going on you're the one that's being kind of focused on in this particular section of time and in this reading specifically it is really kind of all about you air singles which may not be the most comfortable thing for you but right now all eyes are on you so <laughs> we have the third chakra so this is solar plexus energy this is the power center for the lower chakras the element is fire so this is a very obviously fiery card but you've got this beautiful star in the center that's radiating out and they're saying that this is kind of your perspective right now uh, fire symbolizes the spark of inspiration that can arouse the imagination to make music dance and grow beyond the fetters of all restriction although its heart can be friend or foe fire can burn through obstacles and enable people to become the best version of themselves that they can be on the other hand it can serve as fuel for the ego making people arrogant or dominant so yeah all eyes are on you what are you gonna do with all that <laughs> Uh, your keywords are excitement, intensity, actively jumping towards possibilities, sparks to create relations, the will to fulfill ambition, and assertive behavior. So if there's a special someone that you've been kind of not sure of the next steps, tap into your solar plexus, kind of get an idea of is this something that you're really wanting to do? And if it is, it could be the right time to ask that person out to try to make that connection they're saying sparks so this could be a good time but you also have to be careful because when you play with fire there's always that option of getting burned so but sometimes that fire can lead to a nice warm cozy stove where you have growth from it and it could be very beneficial but you don't know unless you try so <laughs> your tarot is four of summer being distracted and failing to see a magical opportunity Taking someone or something for granted, discontentment with life. Don't ignore the signals from the universe is the big thing that's coming forward for uh, air singles. If you have that intuitive jump and they're giving you even a little bit of an idea that there might be something there, just casually ask, hey, you want to go for coffee? You don't know if you don't try. And that's what the Four of Summer is saying is don't get so wrapped up in the thought of doing the thing that you miss the opportunity to actually do it don't get so wrapped up in taking things for granted oh that person will be single just as long as I am I'll get around to it because you won't <laughs> uh, and that's kind of where you're at you're feeling like you you're missing something but you're not I mean your your life's full but now you want to add something more into it but where you're at is you're thinking I'm missing but you're not and this is where you change that thought of I'm not missing it I just want to add to it so now how do I add to it this is where your next steps can come forward for you the ace of autumn is saying a windfall of money advice or assistance from others a successful project a happy change in career they're saying for you it's not career it's in a relationship status <laughs> but they're also saying that seeking advice or getting advice from another person if you have a wingman if you don't quite have the uh, gumption to do the you know asking find out if your friend wants to, your wingman wants to do kind of like a social thing and then suddenly when they're it's just the two you know the four of you at that point your wingman is like oh I have things to do and they bounce leaving you and the person of your interests to get a little bit better acquainted but they're saying don't miss the opportunities that are provided doesn't mean it has to be something big and fiery because remember sparks can lead to fire but it definitely is something that you are you're wanting to change your status from single to possibly in a relationship 
and right now you're you're in the position because the light's shining on you to make those changes if you so choose so air singles great time to look at things as they are and see what needs to be shifted so let's move on to our air couples air couples you are in the chakra 23 area energy level card card 23 sorry with the concept of acceptance we have some interesting things going on with this card because right in the center you have a deer i'm assuming it's a doe but you also have a lot of water type energy coming in and i'm going to guess by the color of this that we're working with some heart energy but we'll find out in a second the first impressions i'm getting for you is when you work with acceptance you see maybe the less than pleasant aspects of your partner but you love that person you love the soul that's underneath those aspects so you can kind of like yeah they snore big deal i can work with that there's your plugs um i know that if i feed them certain foods i pay for it later so i will purposely cook loving caring meals that maybe we don't have a uh, bread in or maybe we don't put eggs in that unless we're you know <laughs> sending them on a business trip have fun but, but this is really about accepting the person where they're at and seeing the beauty that lies within accepting any flaws or character things that may not be they may not be the perfect example but do you still love that person underneath and for air they're saying you already know you the answer to that you love that person as a person so that any of those outside things you can you can find ways to work around that fix what you can but you can fix you and be the example for the other person and maybe they don't even realize they're doing it communication is really great in a relationship so keep those doors open um <laughs> it is the fourth chakra it is the heart chakra the element with this one is air so we're kind of working with some of your energy air couples and this is also bringing in some intellectual and mental studies Excuse me. Air symbolizes the power of the mind, ideas, intellect, wisdom, discernment, balance, and devotion. The lungs, which are the vehicles for prana, the breath of life, are closely connected to the heart. The twelve points of this mandala represent the lotus petals of the spiritual heart. In the very center, the antelope, I'm sorry, not a deer, antelope, stands in front of the six pointed star symbolizing perfect love and perfect trust. It's really about your amazing relationship and deepening that to the to the purest level you can in this particular moment in time uh, giving from the heart inspiration happy times positive communication multiple perspectives sensing the other's emotions and responding from the heart energy air couples whether it's you or the air or your partner is the air take time to tap into your heart the heart chakra is approximately ab directly above your physical heart, but centered. Um, basically, halfway down your sternum, if you want to go that direct that way. When you tap into that center, you're going to see it as either pink or green. Some people see it a little bit brighter because we are shifting from third de uh, density into fourth. So you might be seeing it as an, a slightly different color, and that's fine tap into that if you're with your partner and they're open to spiritual connection focus on your heart sitting across from them you don't have to sit in the lotus position because <laughs> if you're like me you get in that position you might be there for a minute um, <laughs> but sit in a chair across from them just face to face close your eyes and see them from your heart connect your heart to theirs and if you feel the need you can physically reach out and touch that person's heart and they can touch yours make the connection and from that point see the soul see that person as a spiritual being when you do there's an energy connection that can occur that really changes your perspective on the little things they're still there and there's still things that you'll have to work through there's still things you'll have to see but when you make that connection at that level Today's culture, unfortunately, has lost that. And I'm not going to go into a diatribe about it. But this is a really good time. The energy is aligned to take your relationship 
and connect, reconnect, and take the relationship into a deeper emotional and uh, energetic state. So take the time to reconnect with your partner this coming month, air couples. Your Prince of Winter is intellectual, determined, focused, and impulsive. Seek out an intellectual solution to your problem, the need to act quickly and decisively, sudden or unexpected changes. Things may not always be the smoothest, but when you're connected and you're strong and you're working with your partner, that's where that focused energy comes in. That's that determined, we're going to make this work. We're going to, whatever's going on outside of the relationship or the things that maybe are minor in inconveniences, we can fix those. We can work through that. We're not going to burn this up just because of something dumb. And so this is just the encouraging thing to say, stay focused and determine the relationship's worth it. You already have the bond. So why not deepen it? Take it to the next level. You also have the five of autumn reaching out to others for assistance, poor timing for career changes. Probably not the best time when you have that phrase come up to look at other jobs, focus on the relationship. <laughs> Fearing, feeling challenged by money issues. Money can be one of the biggest headaches in a relationship. And the Five of Autumn is saying, don't worry about the outside stuff. This is, again, bring come back to that determined, focused situation where, you know, we're a couple. We can handle this stuff together. Let's stay focused. Let's stay grounded. And let's, if we have to trim the fat on something, trim the fat. How many streaming services do we really need? <laughs> uh, like things like that. Just find ways to reconnect with each other. And if something comes up and you're like, actually, this doesn't work for us anymore, let it go. But have that open discussion, open communication with your partner, because that's what's going to keep the relationship happy, healthy, and fresh. So let's hop over to the water family. And we will start with water singles. And if anyone was curious this is kind of my element so <laughs> water is my most dominant element in my charts which is interesting we have for water singles number 30 and communication this is uh, i love some of the, these cards are so busy other ones are super simple with communication it's water singles you kind of have this charismatic gift anyway because water works with emotions and you're able to understand and intuitively sense what the other person needs. Whether you realize it or not, water is inherently emotive and they are very powerfully intuitive. And the people in your life, if you haven't noticed, if you find out what their zodiacs are, which water covers Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, the people who are under that category are very good with communication. They like words. You'd think air would be the dominant word one, and they are. But when we're talking about word wizards, that's water. <laughs> they know how to use those things to amazingly powerful healing or amazingly destructive, devastating ends. So communication is generally seen as air, but it can also fall under very strongly under water. Uh, this is under the fifth chakra, so this is the throat chakra. And the element in, on the card, interestingly enough, is akasha or space. This is where all four elements come together, and when they are in balance, space, the center spot, um, or akasha or spirit exists. When you have all four elements in balance, then you can fully awaken that, se that sense of self. Akasha, which is the fifth element or spirit, relates to the non-physical etheric energy where sound dominates. It holds, transports, and holds and transports words and their vibrational messages. The elephant in the card. Oh, there's an elephant dead center of that thing. What the white spot is on top of the elephant's face. I didn't even see that. Sorry. <laughs> Um, the elephant is Gaja, linked with memory and sacred wisdom. The yogis use this image to deepen or depict the invaluable guru-disciple relationship and the mingling of spiritual and cosmic consciousness. So, we'll go over the keywords. Communication, talking, speaking, listening, hearing on the deeper level. Higher forms of thinking, clarifying what you think others are saying. So, you're working with intuition, but... 
You're also bringing into balance water singles this concept of the elements. You're bringing into balance the ability to see and understand pretty deep spiritual concepts, but you're able to communicate them into simpler ways. So if you are in a situation where you have the opportunity to be a teacher or to assist in teaching or even substitute in a teaching situation, these, this is really a good time for you because you're going to be able to take other, these complex ideas and simplify them for people to understand. This is a great way to also be able to discuss emotional situations. It could be something that you are opening yourself up for growth in this particular aspect and growth as in possible communication with a partner. But the, commu commu bleh, the communication part of this, we're working with throat energy and obviously I can't communicate right now. <laughs> but you're finding a balanced state. You're coming into balance and that's awakening that spiritual side of you. That's awakening that and it could be deepening as well. I'm not saying that you have to wake up today, but it could take that to a different level. So really work with finding balance with the elements, earth, air, fire, and water, focusing on that space of spiritual development. And with that, taking stuff that's complex, because you have this gift anyway, and being able to translate those into simpler terms. And that's where that concept of teaching comes in because you're communicating to the next generation that doesn't mean to dumb it down. Simplifying it is helping people get those aha moments where they take a complex idea and you insert the key. Then it unlocks that so they can see it better. So the princess of winter is intuitive. I'm sorry, inquisitive, truthful, <laughs> realistic, and undiplomatic. So there's probably some um, intuitive aspect there too. Information that can be helpful but may be difficult to hear. This is where water has a trick. That's that key in the lock of the complexity. You might come across as ruthless or rude, but in reality, it's what the person needs to unravel the chaos that they're dealing with. Uh, speaking the truth with kindness, an indigo child or adult. Indigos are notoriously intuitive. In t you can't lie to an, uh, an, an, a true indigo. It's impossible. But what I will say is if an indigo calls you out, very, very high likelihood they see something you're ignoring. And with this water, they are actually saying that this is probably you. And so when you are calling someone out, do so with kindness. You don't have to be ruthless or rude about it. If they choose not to listen or they're like, you don't know what you're talking about. Okay, I was trying with the little mallet and I'm gonna get the hammer. <laughs> because there's things that need to be communicated and if you can simplify it and help put key in lock and unlock what's being communicated that's where your focus is you also have the four of summer being distracted or failing to see a magical opportunity taught taking someone or something for granted and being discontented don't bottle the information up if it's coming in and you're seeing something find a nice way to say it and they're also calling you out a little bit, and the fairies are, because you take things for granted sometimes, like that person's always going to be there. You always have a fallback plan. In this particular situation for water singles, if you're not communicating openly, your fallback, fallback plan just disappeared. They, they're, That's where they ended that. So <laughs> just pay attention to the people that you see around you, because this could be the time to take the next steps towards a relationship or at least towards your own social circle and working with that and kind of clearing up anything that's not open and there in the open now let's take a peek at water couples and see where the water couples are we have cosmic consciousness Number 46, and I'm pretty sure that this is a crown chakra energy because it's really close to the end of the <laughs> deck here. And with that, water couples, you have got a lot going on here. But you're also coming into a higher state of awareness, a higher aspect of your relationship. But you're also bringing in 
the concept of divinity into the relationship. You're rededicating your relationship with each other, and you're also rededicating that relationship and having it blessed by the divine. So let's see what number 46 has in the book. And it is the crown chakra, the seventh chakra. And our deity is Krishna, blue lord of love, wisdom, and compassion. He is, the one, he is one of the most popular of the Hindu deities. He is known as a humble cow herder who played a celestial flute that enchanted uh, many faithful devotees. He is also considered the cosmic force of good who maintains order in the universe. Kind of a good guy to have with you if you're working on, you know, in a relationship. Keep that positive energy going. Uh, love without fear, radiating positive energy, trust your inner knowledge, liberation, being awake in the now, taking time to play music, sing, or dance with the innocence of a child. Water couples. When you reconnect with your partner, find that spark. Find that giggly, giddy feeling of being newly in love again. Go dancing. Even if you're dancing in your living room where no one else can see, do so. Find that spark, that passion. But it's that innocent passion, not the hot and heavy passion. It's that, I just want to be with this person. They make me so happy. And I hope I'm making, or I feel I'm making them happy. You're reconnecting, you're giggling. Find those little inner things like, oh my God, do you remember that time blah 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 and then I did that <laughs> that kind of stuff get back into that water couples this is your time to really bring that back in when you tap into Krishna you're tapping into a powerful form of innocence but that innocence is also sacred and with the cosmic consciousness we're rising above the everyday we're rising above the mundane everyday problems of the root, the sacral, and the solar plexus. We have be, went beyond the heart where we've reconnected as a relationship and as a couple. You're above the communication because now that is all nonverbal because you've become almost telepathic in your connection to your partner. And this is where we get into that God source divine bringing it through into that relationship. So really tap into that highest aspect because once we reach a certain point as a human and in a relationship you're rising together you find that innocence again where it's like you're just happy to be with the person and it can be giggly and ha gigg you know that warm fuzzies but it's also just that contentment of I really do truly want to be with this person and I don't want to go anywhere else this is what we are together two becomes one type of a thing and that's the energy that's coming forward for water couples. We have the three of spring. Plan your next steps with an eye to the long term. Have patience. There are more good things to come. Satisfaction from a job well done. You've come a long ways. You've had to fight a lot. All couples do. And I'm not saying this about anything, but just all couples do. The three of spring is saying, enjoy the fruits of your labor. You've built a strong relationship. You are with the person that you want to be with and now's the time to just kind of where do you want to end up where do you as a couple want to be in those golden years do you want to have that cabin in the mountains do you want to have that quiet cul-de-sac do you want to travel this is the time to start looking to those ends doesn't mean you're forgetting the now but you're just kind of like throwing around ideas mulling around ideas you also have the star big life energy you know life lessons here major arcana it's looking to the future with hope and optimism, the power of faith to move mountains, happy changes that bring relief from challenging times. You've been there. You've done that. Water couples, enjoy the fruits of your labor. The stars are shining on you. The well is Glastonbury Well. It's basically the key to Avalon. The power of the divine goddess is coming in. You have Krishna kind of blessing with joy, happiness. For water couples, this is a really good time for you. It's a fertile time, spring, enjoy yourself, have fun, reconnect, tap into that childlike innocence. To all elemental energies in any relationship coming forward. Enjoy things as they come. Live in the now moment. 
the divine wants to just remind you you're here to enjoy life life is not meant to be a burden and if it is find out why <laughs> because that doesn't just happen we usually find ourselves putting ourselves in those problems so find the points to be happy joyful moving forward with a smile whether that smile is at a joke that you're remembering from 10 years ago or the smile of you're looking at that puppy and you just want to go play with it and smell its puppy breath <laughs> find those happy points find that joy because that's what life is all about that's what life what makes life worth living and that's what the fairies and the guides are bringing in so with that this video went longer than i anticipated i hope you guys have a great rest of the month uh, if you're new here hit that uh, subscribe button drop a like on the video comment down below any thoughts opinions or even cr criticisms, as long as we're polite, that's all we can ask for, right? I will talk to you guys later.